Hello, welcome to the IM Global Terrorology and Quality Control Center. This center was established in 2012, based in Manila, Philippines, as part of the global MHD support. It provides uh, global radiology support and teleradiology programs. It aims to standardize and optimize the quality of the radiology service worldwide. In this video, the Telerad team will guide you through a virtual process and explain to you how this center supports different missions through different activities to optimize the quality of service worldwide. IOM Global Teleradiology and QC Center has a team of five technical experts that serves the missions with technical support requests that range from PACS installation, configuration, troubleshoot, and assist in configuring X-ray CRDR machines. The center is connected to 75 PACS nodes in different locations worldwide, enabling access to teleradiology. The center uses web-based telerad application developed in-house in collaboration with IOM ICT units. The application has built-in workflow engine to auto-distribute workload to available radiologists in real time. It also has built-in reporting forms specific to the program type, namely US, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and IOM standard form that allows radiologists to read the test x-rays and download the report from the mission site in real time. Our radiologists use diagnostic monitors with commercial image viewer remote eye to review images. Security and confidentiality is maintained with role-based access in the application. Microsoft Teams and Skype are used to communicate with missions in real time. But also, it directly supports the mission on radiology services like uh, radiology guidelines, templates, tours, uh, also provide training. Uh, can be online, on-site, and by organizing workshops. When we go to the mission, we do audit visit to the X-ray units and uh, based on the assessment research, give feedback for improvement. Here at IOM Global Teleradiology in QC Center, the team is working closely with its radiologists, technical team, and medical support staff in planning the work schedule to ensure that the center provides adequate and efficient support to missions at all times. The center is also coordinating closely with respective departments such as HR, procurement, finance, and legal team to ensure the equipment, services, and licenses are timely updated. Also, in coordination with various missions across the globe, the team also conducts teleradiology users training for panel physicians, radiologists, nurses, radiographers, and medical support staff. This is to facilitate fast coordination and smooth processing of cases daily. Most importantly, as the Center values continuous improvement of its services and its team members, the Center is doing its best to equip all team members with learning opportunities that will expand their knowledge and skills towards professional growth and, of course, further advancement of teleradiology systems and its related technologies. One of the main programs uh, provided by the Center is primary reading, where the X-rays are transferred to us and we read it real time and we, the missions get the X-rays reports in real time. We are supporting currently more than 52 locations and we are networked more than uh, 75 locations. I think they are enabled for teleradiology service. This service uh, is real time, provided real time, and we are working 18 hours per day, Monday to Friday, and also Saturday and Sunday. This is to cover all the different time zones worldwide. IOM Teleradiology is connected to IOM and non-IOM locations globally. What differentiates us from other teleradiology providers is that we give emphasis to technical preparation, training, and support. During the technical preparation and planning, we always do our best to customize our services to the needs of each mission in accordance with the IOM ICT standards. We install packs in all the mission, configure the packs and the X-ray machine, pilot test the system, train the end users, and provide continuous technical support. The X-ray images are replicated from the clinics in the mission to the Telerad Center in less than 5 minutes. The radiologist reading is done right away using the Teleradiology system. 
All the while, the mission can monitor the status and progress of the study using the same system. The teller at assistant starts the day for each mission with greetings and asking the focal person in the mission the expected caseload on the Skype chat group. The chest x-rays are sent from the mission, then initially received in Telerad PAX system and will replicate in the Telerad application given it satisfies the set criteria. The Telerad system automatically assigns chest x-rays to each radiologist on duty for interpretation. In e-medical cases, Australia, Canada, and New Zealand, the Telerad assistants compress and uploads the chest x-ray DICOM file in the in-house system which automatically renames and compresses the file with name and e-medical ID. It is very important to cross-check biodata for discrepancies. Same is done for chest x-rays uploaded by the mission. Telerad report is then downloaded in the Telerad application and carefully transcribed to eMedical. Once done and completed, the ready for interpretation box is ticked to inform radiologists that the case is ready for e-medical submission. Upon e-medical submission, the radiologist ticks the submitted box and completeness and correctness of e-medical submission is checked. For UK refugees, US and other cases, it is read in Telerad application only. UK TB immigrant cases are also read as is in the UK TBS application. Upon confirmation from the mission that all cases are sent, an Excel summary of process cases are then generated in the Telerad application. It is then applied to the working file and sent via email with the case count summary. We are tasked with interpreting chest x-ray images on a daily basis. We utilize a system that automatically assigns uh, cases to all radiologists on duty. To access an, a case, we go to the main tab and we click on a particular case. Once we click on the particular case, an image would appear on the screen with a corresponding reporting form. Once the image is uploaded on the screen, we check for the biodata to make sure that this image belongs to the patient that we should interpret. And then we also check for the image quality as this would affect our interpretation of the image. In non-garden variety cases for which additional images are needed for clarification of a finding, we are able to request so through the same teleradiology software so that the mission could immediately perform the desired request. For any case that needs discussion or further investigation or any queries from particular mission's panel physician, we discuss the cases with supervising radiologists and address their concerns accordingly. Communication is real-time with Skype. A peer review and quality control system is present to make sure that the highest quality diagnostic work is done. One of the global activities that we do is second opinion service. When we say second opinion service, when the panel physician or radiologist from the missions have any query about the chest X-ray report, they will send us an email to review or give our second opinions. When we get that, we will import the image from the local mission packs and uh, duplicate it in global packs. Then it will be queued in the Teller application and tagged as second opinion. After that, we will review the image and if there is a need, we will ask for additional view. If not, we will complete the report, download the PDF report, and send the results by email. We give this with one hour turnaround time also. We also run a quality control program using teleradiology. This system is semi-automatic, complex, linking different systems with automatic sampling of the image from local mission, fetching the primary reading from uh, MHD his system called Mimosa, and we read the x-rays here and the system compares, analyzes the data and based on the result we give feedback to missions for their uh, further optimization of the quality of the radiology service. IUM Global Radiology Center does quality control of 15% of U.S. cases from IUM locations. The systems interoperates between multiple systems linking local mission packs, global QC packs, mission MIMOSA systems, and teradiology QC applications. 
During the technical preparation, we assess and coordinate the Terrarad QC system requirements to the mission. We configure sampling schedule of chest X-ray images from the local mission packs and report extraction from the Mimosa system. We train the users on the Terrarad QC system and its radiology process before we go live in the mission. The QC process involves multiple steps and during the QC process, there is a continuous technical support, monitoring, and troubleshooting of issues. The radiograph selected from our partner locations were queued for review by QC1 radiologist. I reviewed the chest x-ray assigned to me and submit the reports using the corresponding chest x-ray reporting form in the Telerad QC application. The QC system generates a score based on the degree of discrepancy between the readings of the QC1 radiologist and the primary radiologist. Those with significant discrepancies, namely grades 3, 4, and 5, are again queued for review by the QC2 radiologist. The other activities that I do is as quality control monitoring radiologist, where when there is a discrepancy between uh, QC1 reading and the prime radiologist, and there are significant discrepancies, it will come to uh, QC2 radiologist. Then, as a QC monitoring radiologist, I will review the reports and the images of both primary and QC1 radiologists. If uh, I agree with the QC1 radiologist, the system will uh, again auto calculate the score and it will be the final score to be sent to the focal radiologist in the mission. And also, if I agree with the primary radiologist, the system will recalculate the score and it may not be sent for uh, focal radiologist review. We work a lot on improving our quality of service internally. We review 5% of the x-rays uh, for internal monitoring and see difference if there is and we give feedback and review. We have also another new pilot program called peer review. 10% of the x-rays are re-read by a second radiologist before finalizing the report. We have uh, policies and SOPs uh, in place for all radiology processes, including addressing if there are any issues. And the radiologists are asked to consult any difficult cases before finalizing the report. And we have a regular image session with all our radiologists to learn from our mistakes on uh, collected images. The other activity we give at the center is consultation. Our consultant radiologists, if they have any queries on the findings, if they have any question on what type of additional to give, or if there is any queries on how to classify the findings on the different reporting forms, they come and consult. And this is, it is a center salute to consult before finalizing the report if there is any query. Every day after every shift, 5% of the cases interpreted in the center were randomly selected and reviewed for internal monitoring. If a selected case needs an additional view for clarification, or if the interpretation itself requires revision, the mission is immediately notified. A feedback mechanism is also in place to inform the primary radiologist of the revision. The center also works on different other global uh, partners we share uh, uh, we do research work and for use it for our performance but also for uh, sharing our experience uh, and collaborating with our global partners uh, in the sector representing IOM. Telerad produces regular statistical reports for both the primary reading and QC reading. This data is generated from Telerad SQL reporting systems. This data is used to validate and analyze data for billing, performance monitoring, sharing of experience, or other requests from the missions. In addition, the center also does surveys and research collaborations with global partners. Uh, advances in technology system and infrastructure and the different global support programs and services provided by the center has been highly acknowledged by the resettlement country governments and global partners and has put IOM in a competitive place. The center would like to continue 
the expansion, the quality of service, and support it's providing and contributing.